There is a side of YouTube that I've dabbled in while getting into this type of fashion. It's, we'll just call it goth YouTube, right? You know, they, they, they dress goth, they're really over the top, they got the, the really pale uh, concealer, or foundation rather, they, they have the black lipstick, they have the crazy hair, they have the, the you know, the, the over, it's okay, it's okay, oh, I thought you were gonna cough, I was like, it's okay if you have to cough, um, the, the over the top, like, clothing and stuff like that, and something I've noticed with these YouTubers that, that, and uh, Abigail literally mentioned what I'm, what I'm, what I'm getting to, <laughs> A lot of these YouTubers have an issue with fast fashion, like Shein, like Abigail mentioned in chat. And you predicted two things tonight. You predicted me talking about Shein, you predicted me streaming. Are you, are you a fucking psychic or something, Abigail? Okay. Can you tell me my future real quick? Is, it, is shit going to get better because things kind of suck for me right now? No, not really. Anyway, um, point is... Fast fashion is a big point of contention in this in this community because a lot of these YouTubers they're not mall goths they are trad goths right they're true goths they listen to the true goth music and they 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 they're not a poser they, they're not a poser and you know they yeah. they listen to traditional goth music and they 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 do DIY and you know all this different stuff and I am not a part of that. I am not into that culture. I've had people commenting telling me that I'm not a real goth. And that's true. I'm not, nor have I ever claimed to be. It's really more of a colloquial usage of the term than anything. When I say, oh yeah, haha, goth girl, whatever. Uh, I am a mall goth, which if you want to get specific, uh, ontologically, is more of a subcategory of metalhead. It's a type of metalhead. Mall goths like metal. We like industrial. We like KMFDM. We like Rammstein. We like um, we like Corn. We like Deftones. We like uh, Marilyn Manson stuff like that. Not so much The Cure or Joy Division or you know whatever. And that's okay. And that's perfectly fine. And if you have an issue with that, then I mean you're. What, what, what is this, a fucking message board from 2003? If you're having an argument about this at this point, like, really? What are we on fucking, what are we on fucking AOL? Are we on fucking MySpace right now? What fucking year is it? Why does it fucking matter? Who fucking cares who is and isn't a real fucking goth? Alright, we're not in fucking high school anymore, alright guys? Let's, let's start acting like it for a second. It doesn't fucking matter at the end of the fucking day who is and isn't a real fucking goth. Like, it's such a stupid argument to have. I don't fucking care really dress how you want to dress listen to what you want to listen to call yourself what you want to call yourself i'm a fucking postmodernist baby i don't care for M definitions are meaningless it doesn't matter for me goth has always just been more of like a a fashion sense that it is like a it, personality it's, it, it's, it's 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 a it's a it's a fashion based subculture that embraces the you know like the darkness and the macaw and 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 like vampires and and and, and stuff like that and like 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 Victorian era like aesthetics like like Gothic architecture and stuff like that mm -hmm. and um, it's it's also a music based subculture though yeah and so I don't really listen to goth music much I I listen to uh, I listen to typo negative. That's like goth metal. Does that count? But I mean, it's not. It's not what's in my rotation on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, it just isn't. So at the end of the day, I'm not a really true, you know, fucking traditional goth. You I mean, know what I mean? Like me neither. Like I feel yeah. like between the two of us, uh, I'm the furthest step away from being like a true goth. Yeah. Because primarily, like, like when you, like, speaking like music-wise, yeah, um, I do not listen to a lot of like dark music pop, isn't a song well, well yeah but like i listen to mostly like pop rap and like hyper -pop yeah and... yeah so anywho fast fashion okay 
there are these goth YouTubers who, 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 you know, posture themselves. I'm an anti-capitalist, therefore I am anti-fast fashion. I am anti-Shein. I am anti-Romwe. I am anti-Ally Express. I, 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 and that's because of my anti-capitalist principles. And the reason why it goes against my anti-capitalist principles is because it's exploitative. Buddy, I've got news for you. <laughs> now, I want you to grab whatever fabric of clothing you're wearing right now, and if you're not wearing any clothing, then go put some on, please, for the love of God. Grab whatever fucking fabric that you're wearing right now, and I want you to feel it. I want you to rub it. I want you to really feel that fabric for a second. Every little micrometer of that fabric... There is a 99% chance that was woven by a 12-year-old slave in Indonesia or Bangladesh or China. 99% chance that, that somewhere in that supply chain, there was a 12-year-old that helped make that clothing. Okay? And even if, even if you are in that 1% where that isn't the case, it's ethic ethically sourced. If it was by a capitalist corporation, <coughs> a capitalist-run corporation, not a worker co-op, which most are, it was still produced through exploitation. It was just slightly less exploitative than, wa uh, than, than slave labor. It was rather wage slavery, which is still a form of slavery. Okay, well, what if you, what if you got it from a workers' cooperative, right? Let's say nogodsnomasters.com or something like that. You got it from a workers cooperative and it was completely ethically sourced and, uh, you know, the workers all democratically controlled the workplace and nowhere in the supply line uh, was there capitalism involved uh, whatsoever, at least uh, private ownership, at least. One, that's a very, you're, you're probably the only person on the planet right now who's wearing clothing like that, for, for one. For two, even with workers' cooperatives, they still have to work within the capitalist framework. They, they still have to pay the bills for their servers to capitalist companies, right? So even if you're buying from a workers' cooperative, that, that money is still going to trickle up to other capitalists. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. It doesn't matter how hard you try. You cannot escape exploitation. Period. No ethical consumption under capitalism. Now, does that mean that you should be, you know, uh, reckless with where you source your products from? No, of course not. I'm not saying that you shouldn't care where you're, get you're getting your products from. If there's a place that's being particularly heinous, you know, maybe uh, you, you shouldn't do that. But... For the most part, no matter where you get your clothing, it's gonna be through exploitation. You can't avoid it. And it makes me really angry because these goth YouTubers don't understand how capitalism works. They're just anti-capitalism because it's cool. It's the cool thing to be with the kids these days. You know, it's, it's an aesthetic for them. They've never bothered to read actually how capitalism works. You think any of these fucking goth YouTubers have actually read Marx? I highly fucking doubt it. I highly fucking doubt it. But alright. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So yes, we will be showing some fast fashion websites in this video. We're going to be showing a lot of websites that aren't fast fashion, but one thing they all have in common is they're all capitalist run, baby, as far as I know. So, either fucking way, whatever you're getting is not going to be completely ethically sourced. Alright. That's, that's all the politics for today. No more politics. Overt politics, anyway. Just fashion. Just vibes. Alright.